Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for tips on how to spend your bronze in Remix Pandaria, this video is exactly for you. What follows is a few tips on how to optimize your bronze spending so you don't waste any of that currency. The most important question is whether or not you should spend some of the bronze to upgrade your gear first. And that depends on what you want to do. If you're in just to farm a few items, few mounts, few transmogs, few toys, then you should not be spending any bronze on upgrading your gear, just farm as much as you need to get the items that you need and get out. However, if you're in for the long run and you want to buy every single possible item with bronze that there is in the Remix, then you should be upgrading your gear first. The better gear is going to allow you to do harder content, which on its turn is going to provide more bronze. If you're also interested into doing all the achievements and mythic siege of Ogimar, you need to get your item level up so people can start inviting you to heroic raids and then potentially mythic. The amount of bronze that you're going to get there is higher and you will potentially be able to solo farm the raids, which will allow you to play the game without relying on other people inviting you to their groups. Upgrading every single item to maximum level costs a little bit over 50k bronze and since there are 10 items that you need to upgrade in total, you're gonna need a little bit over half a million first in order to get to maximum item level. So, in short, definitely invest the bronze into upgrading your gear first if you're in for the long run and you wanna play the game until it's available, but definitely do not bother if you're after just a few items that you're missing. The next big tip that I can give you is that you don't have to buy everything with bronze. I'll give you an example with the mounts, which is what I'm interested in. If you go to the end of the vendor, you're gonna see some very expensive mounts. However, these mounts are actually being dropped by the content itself. Even more so, you can go to the retail version of the game and farm them there as they're either raid drops or world boss drops. And most of these things you can farm daily. For example, I managed to get the Garrosh mount in just 8 attempts last month. So now that's 40,000 less bronze that I have to spend to buy all the mounts. Also, very important tip, keep in mind that you'll be doing the content that drops these mounts throughout the Panda Remix journey in order to farm more bronze. And since it doesn't matter whether or not you're gonna buy something at the start of the event or its end, my advice here is wait on the expensive items that drop from world bosses and raids because you might get lucky as they can just drop for you while you're farming bronze and that's going to save you big time spending bronze at the end. You can farm them in retail even after the event is over. Instead focus on buying items that are actually limited and are gonna be gone after the event is over and these items happen to be cheaper anyway. The same strategy applies to transmogs and toys as well as you might get them while we're doing the content. For example, I already get a full transmog set from the Heart of Fear by playing the game, leveling, gearing, farming bronze, etc. And over here I'm gonna give you one more tip which is going to make tracking everything a little bit easier. You can go to simplearmory.com, enter your realm and character name which is going to display information about all the achievements that you've done, all the mounts that you've collected, toys, transmogs, etc. There's a special page that lists all the mounts specifically and over here you can see all the mounts that have been added to the Pandaria Remix and are basically the limited times once. So this not only lists the mounts that you need to farm and buy first, but it also tracks which one you've gotten already. It's a pretty damn useful tool that is going to help you throughout your Panda Remix journey. My last tip here is that you can actually level oats in order to obtain more bronze and then spend it on account wide items. Now the leveling process itself is not going to be more beneficial to farm bronze than playing your max level character, but you're nevertheless getting some decent amount while you're leveling. The leveling itself should be quite quick and once you get to a max level you basically unlock another set of dailies that you can do on your ult. And while the bronze itself is actually so bound, nothing prevents you from buying different items from the same vendors on the different characters that you have. Even more so, the more you play, the more characters you have, the more chances you have for something randomly to drop for you and save you huge amounts of bronze. 
and if nothing else, playing oats and learning new classes, at least for me, is always fun. So those are my top tips on how to optimize your bronze spending, let me know in the comments below if you have better ones, thank you very much for watching, now get out of here.